y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another Pandora video. So today I am very excited because my last box came from the winter sale. So after Christmas, they had a big 50% off sale. I'm sure you guys already know about it because it has been all over the internet what people have bought. And I have purchased not one, not two, but three separate hauls. One from reads.com, which is a store fairly local to me, but not local enough. I'm like an hour and a half away. So I did order from them online. One from Binbridge that came last night and my mom couldn't help it. She opened the box. So I closed it back up. And then one from my local store that we actually drove up and um, picked these up right after Christmas. So three separate hauls for you today. We're going to open all of them and show you what I got. I did get a few, um, I don't wanna say generic, but more everyday kind of beads. But most of what I've purchased in these three hauls were ocean themed charms because my mom and I are going on a cruise out to California to go whale watching. And I wanted uh, the cute little whale and a few of the other ocean themed charms for that cruise specifically. Like I said, I like to buy charms um, on trips. I would prefer to get the whale on the whale watching trip, but with it being in this sale and being discontinued, I did not want to risk not being able to get it on the cruise. So I'm getting it a week early. I'll live. And then um, a few Harry Potter pieces because I love Harry Potter and I wanted to add to my Harry Potter themed bracelet. So we are going to jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and point you downwards and we are going to go over each charm individually. And then I will show you the entire haul as an entirety. Yeah. All right, so let's jump in. We will start with my local store first. Um, like I've said in my past videos, I don't typically have an actual local store the store that I call my local store is still about 45 minutes away, but it is the closest physical store to me. The next closest is Reed's, which is like an hour and a half, two hours away. So close enough for me. <laughs> I'm really excited to open these, especially because mom said there's something strange in this one. I made her package it all back up. Came to her house, not mine. So I can't exactly control what she does. All right, y'all, so we are going to start with my haul from the local store. And my first charm that I got from my local store in the 50% off sale is this one. And they put it directly on my bracelet since I was wearing this bracelet at the time. And it is the Magnolia, Magnolia Bloom Charm in the Rose Gold. I have looked at this charm many times over the years. And I just, I love it, but I never felt like I needed it. And I almost didn't get it this time. I literally grabbed it, put it back, grabbed it, put it back. And it is stunning with those pink CZs and the rose gold. And now they only had one by the time I decided I wanted it. Everywhere else was sold out. So I wish I had grabbed two of these, but they are beautiful. You are on the fence. I love that one. And I've put it on this two-tone bracelet that I'm working on. I think it's actually really pretty on here. You might recognize this design from um, my Valentine's Day haul because there's my ladybird, which is this year's club charm. But that is the Magnolia Bloom charm and it is beautiful. It also comes as a clip and in silver instead of rose gold. So there's lots of different ways to wear that charm. But that one's mine. And then these are the two boxes that they gave me. They really could have just done one box. I have so many boxes. Let's see. Okay, so here are the Harry Potter pieces I got from my local store. And dun dun dun, dun. The Time Turner was on sale. He was 50% off. And then the winged key, this is one of the Harry Potter newer pieces. It was not on the sale, but 
I just had to have it. And my local store hadn't had it any other time. My brother had gone up there actually looking for it for me for Christmas and they didn't have it. And then all of a sudden they did. So you can see on the time turner, it has hallmarks at the bottom. The whole piece does turn and it has inscriptions all the way around. Let's see, I, I have horrible eyesight. It says, I mark the hours every one, nor have I yet outrun the sun, but there's more things in here. I will see if I can't look up that inscription and put it on the screen here because like I said, I'm blind. It's beautiful and I have found myself playing with it. I can't wait to put it on my bracelet. Especially this little part here that flips around. And it is a pendant so you can put it on a bracelet or you can put it on a chain um, and wear it as a necklace. Same with the winged key here. It is a pendant as well. I love that the wings like is actually curled up on one side. To me that detail is just ridiculous looks like it's actually flying and then it has the hallmarks there on the bail. Yep, just the hallmarks. All right, so there's two. And then the last one I got from my local store was dun, 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 Bruno the Colorful Unicorn. I was not sure that I wanted him. Well, okay, I knew I wanted him. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with him. But once I saw him, and he was 50% off. I had to have him. I love that pink. I love the wings. I love the tail. He's so cute in profile even. I think I'm going to end up putting him with my rainbow beads. So I have these two that I haven't known what to do with. I'm going to put them on an open bangle, I think, with Bruno in the middle. So let's see. Let's see. What the? Woo! Sorry, y'all. Trying to stay in frame, but it's a little hard sometimes. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's cute. I love how it brings out all the different colors. So I think I'm just going to put them on an open bangle like this, and I may add more charms one day. I may not. But so far, that's pretty cute. All right, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next package. So I'm gonna put him back in my stacker's box. Well, I guess in my stacker's box. He's so cute. The only thing I don't love about these kind of charms is they're definitely hang with their heads down, which I don't love. We're going to leave these out so we can do a master shot at the end, but Bruno and my Magnolia will just stay where they are. It's fine. Some point I'm going to figure out what to do with all these boxes, but for now I just hoard them because I don't want to throw them away, but I also don't need them. Ba -da -ba -da. All right. On to the next thing. All right. So I think the next thing going to be my order from Reeds that came in this big envelope. And I ordered six or seven charms from them. This should be most of my ocean things because I could not resist and I ordered pretty much all the ones they had. They're just so pretty. And I have the the blue leather bracelet to put them on. So, all right, let's see what's in this first one. Oh, it's the dolphin. Okay. So this little guy is beautiful and I almost didn't get him because you may, may be able to tell, but I have the original dolphin here. So this little guy my brother bought me when I went swimming with dolphins the first time. This is the new one. So you can see 
He's a little less angular than the original. He does not have the CZs all the way around on the bale. And he has that shimmering blue on top. But this new trip that I'm going on with mom, I do have an excursion booked to swim with dolphins. And sea lions is what I booked it for. The dolphins were just a perk. And since Pandora does not have a sea lion charm, come on, Pandora. Figured this guy would be just as cute to mark that occasion. Especially because it has the blue. And I wanted some blue to um, counteract the blue of the whale. So there's the first one. And he is officially the Shimmering Dolphin Dangle Charm. I wrote down all the names. Perfect. And I think that was this one. Yeah. Next up is Aha, Star Wars. Okay, so this one is one of the odd ones that I got. Technically, my Harry Potter bracelet has Toothless and, and Star Wars and all kinds of other little goodies on it. It's not just Harry Potter. It's kind of I don't know, just all the movie geeky fandom things that I like. So Star Wars is definitely at the top of that list with Harry Potter. I love both. And it does have that inscription and a galaxy far, far away. So you can read that at the top in a galaxy. And at the bottom, here's the sides with the hallmarks. And that side is plain. But this is the, did I not write it down? Oh, I did. Star Wars C-3PO and R2-D2 open works charm, which I mean, it, that's exactly what it is. So I cannot wait to put that one on my Harry Potter bracelet. Harry Potter is definitely the main theme of the bracelet. I'm waiting for a few more things from different brand. That is one of my few bracelets that I do other brands on because I want other things. Oh, this one's pretty. Okay. This one has a lot of sparkle. I like sparkle. So this is Ariel's seashell, seashell charm and it has those pretty CZs all the way around so that it sparkles. And if you have, it's in the other room, but if you have the blue leather an ocean bracelet. It is the same shell almost exactly. It looks like it. Um, but this one has the CZs and the clasp on that bracelet is plain. So I thought they would be really pretty together, kind of mirroring each other. It has the hallmarks there on the bottom. That is a pretty one. To be fair, I'm going to think they're all pretty. I don't... There are very few charms that I just don't like. Now, I may not want all the charms. I may want certain ones more than others, but whoa. Okay, so this one's kind of bittersweet and one of these will be the second piece because I bought two of them. It is the blue um, heart solitaire clip. So it is a clip. You can see if I can do it with my nails. Oh, I can. Okay, and then it has the silicone inside but it has the rose gold dun, 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 with the blue heart stone now i have been looking at this exact clip with the pink heart since it came out and I'm really wanting it but it's never gone on sale because obviously everyone loves pink i like blue too but i wanted the pink ones but when these blue ones went 50% off and I was looking for more blue um, for my ocean bracelet as well as rose gold since I already have the pretty rose gold and blue CZ starfish, I figured these would be perfect since they have the silicone grips for clips on either side of my ocean bracelet. One of these will be the second clip. They are very pretty in person. I was worried they would be a little too um, 
barrel like it's the whale. So we are going on this cruise special. It has been booked and canceled and booked and canceled so many times because of COVID. Um, but we are finally going and we have booked it in whale season. The whole reason we're going is to see the whales. So as soon as this little guy came out, I was actually on a different cruise when this guy came out. And as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, I have to have that for our whale cruise. He is so cute, you guys. He's a lot more blue than the dolphin, but how cute. And he's technically a narwhal because he's got that little um, horn. Yeah, Lily agrees. He's a narwhal. But he's a whale and he's got a little whale tail. Oh, I love him. And I think I am going to put him by himself on an open bangle. At least for now. He may, he may go with the rest of the beads eventually. So we've only got two more charms. One will be the second clip. And then the other one will be the last ocean charm I picked up. Uh oh, there we go. That's the last ocean charm. So this one is the Open Works Seahorse Heart Charm. And I don't, I just love seahorses, so I had to have it. And it says we have everything. On the back, it says when we have each other. And the two little seahorses are holding tails. And it has all these pretty waves and starfish and shells all the way around. I hope you guys can see how pretty this one is. This is very intricate and I like that it has the little dangle at the bottom because the other one I already have is the open work with the three little shells dangling at the bottom. So this will go opposite that one. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so then this should be my last clip. Hopefully it's the last clip, otherwise we have a problem. Because yeah, I need two clips to clip. Yep, there it is. It does have those hallmarks at the bottom if you didn't see them on the first one. So this guy obviously doesn't go, but the rest of these, kind of almost the whole bracelet. I never wanted to get the whole bracelet all at once. I like to collect these from different ports as we go on trips. But with, with COVID, all our trips have been canceled and then they're being discontinued. So had to get them all at once. At least they were all on sale, right? When in doubt, you can't go wrong with a good sale. So last but not least, let's do Binbridge. Here's our little box. And it has, I'm gonna move this over so you can see it. It has beautiful tissue paper and some kind of a purple bag. I think I ordered four charms from them. Let's see. Yeah, four. So I have no idea what this is, but not something I ordered. It's definitely substantial. It's got tissue paper wrapped around it. Something fuzzy. It's a teddy bear. Okay. My mom told me there was something weird in here. She must have taken it out and looked at it. She has to look at everything. So it's a little teddy bear with a purple bow and a zipper. What's the zipper for? Is there something in here? It just says Benbridge. It's just a little pouch. You can put your little charms inside. And take it on your cruise and no one will ever know it's a charm bear. I am not sure what to think about this. I mean, he's cute. What's the tag say? Benny Bear, 2021. Love every day, Benbridge. I mean, he's cute. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do with him. Did anybody else get a bear? I saw another lady got a makeup pouch, a Pandora makeup pouch. It's one I already have, so. I didn't need it, but but what's how do they pick who gets a makeup pouch from Pandora and who gets a bear? This is a nice bag, actually. Like velvety suede. All right, let's get to the actual part of this package. So we've got one, two, three, four little pouches. We've got 
the return info. That's nice. You do need to return or exchange anything. And then this is my receipt. And it's going to say that this is all final sale since it was on sale. So I don't know that we necessarily need to look at it, but yep, there we go. Promotional purchase returns must include all items on receipt, even exchange only. So I guess if you need to return one of these, we have to send everything back. So hopefully you don't need to return or exchange anything. I was also a little disappointed. It's not their fault, but I had ordered the, um, the golden snitch to go with these two. Nobody else had it. And that was the main reason I made this order. And I got an email a couple days ago saying that they actually did not have it in stock and they refunded me for it. But that was one of the main reasons I made this order. So I was a little disappointed that I'm not getting it. But it is what it is. So, okay. So two of these are Harry Potter charms. This Let's see, I wrote it down. Is the Harry Potter glasses Nimbus 2000 and lightning bolt dingle charm. And I got it because it has that little bit of rose gold and my entire Harry Potter bracelet is black and gold and silver, except for one charm is black with a smidge of rose gold. And I thought the rose gold in this Nimbus 2000 would be the perfect counterweight to that little bit of rose gold on the other charm. Plus, it's just very dainty and pretty. Although, I do think it's kind of funny that it's a Nimbus 2000 and not a Firebolt. But, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. This is OG Harry before the Whomping Willow. So, it has all of the hallmarks on the bail there. And then it has, even the glasses have the little eye pieces on the back. It's very pretty. And it has another hallmark on this side. Dun, 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 dun. I really like that one. I wasn't sure. I literally bought it only because of the rose gold. Other than that, it wasn't one that was on my wish list per se. I really like it. I like anything that's dainty. Right. Oh, there we go. So I ordered two of these. They are the Butterfly wing enamel charm. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I just, I've seen a lot of pictures of people playing with them with the big butterfly in the middle. There's the hallmarks. And I just really liked them. And with them being on sale, they were inexpensive. So I grabbed them. Probably did not need them. I probably should have not bought them because I bought way too many charms lately but i did when i f open the second one i'll show you those on the rod but here is the next one and it is the open works um harry potter icons crystal charm it's upside down okay so it has the hp the little golden snatch and that's a cz that's pretty the stars around the side we've got the hallmarks here and then we've got all the icons here so we've got Hedgewig, the lightning bolt the glasses and another little broom so very similar to the dangle but with all of the icons kind of 3d here and i like that they've included Hedgewig. the Hedgewig and the little dragon that I call Norbert are two of my favorite dangle charms that I have on this bracelet. I will do like a whole um, close up look at that bracelet for you once I get my last bit of things that I ordered for it next week. And my ocean works. But in the meantime, here is the last charm and it is the other butterfly. So I'm not sure. Leave me a comment down below. I mean, I could get the big butterfly. He was for sale on Rula Law. But I don't know that I want to just do the same thing everybody else has done. He's very pretty, though. These kind of things, sometimes I just get and I let them live in my jewelry box. And eventually it makes sense to me. 
like I got those um, colorful charms a long time ago and I didn't know what to do with them until Bruno the Unicorn came along. So now I know. Sometimes it just takes a minute to figure out what you want to do. But here are the butterflies. They're very pretty. I like how they kind of have a gradient from dark to light. That's very interesting. But that is everything. I hope you guys liked this haul. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned because I'm going to be showing um, a few fun things when I go on my cruise. I will show you. It's always hard to figure out where the Pandora stores are in port or if you have to go out of port. Um, and different stores, especially in different countries, sometimes have different stock. So I will be showing you what I get on my cruise. I am sure I will get at least one or two charms, if not some exclusive pieces. Um, and then some, a lot of people have asked for a full look into um, my suckers box and my entire collection. So I will be doing those videos very soon. But despite Bruno and my Magnolia pieces being inside, this is my winter 2021 haul. All of these, except for this one, were 50% off. So bye y'all. See you in the next one.